Well, new at six, protecting wild horses is the focus of a first of its kind bill that will become law this weekend. Your investigator, Katie Weiss, has covered the debate over wild mustangs for three years now. Katie found this could serve as a model for other states across the American West. These helicopter roundups of Colorado's Mustangs have faced controversy for years. The federal government spends millions of tax dollars to remove them from the wild and send them to holding facilities. Activists feel the copter roundups are cruel and can lead to horse injuries and deaths. The feds say the roundups are necessary to manage the rangelands and protect the forage. But Colorado's Mustangs share the range with private ranchers who rent the land for their sheep and cattle to graze. So the bill passed here at the Capitol aims to find a solution that'll work for everyone. It creates the Colorado Wild Horse Project where ranchers, community members, activists and government leaders will all have a seat at the table to discuss the best ways to protect Mustangs. Uh, you know, there was a lot of controversy that came up on how we would actually uh, put heads together to, to formulate the best plan. The bipartisan bill creates a $1.5 million budget for the Wild Horse Project. Bill sponsor and House Minority Leader Mike Lynch says it's unique because it creates some state power over an issue that has been under federal authority for decades. We're hoping that it'll be a model for the rest of the, of the country that, that has to deal with wild horse hurt. You know, I really feel humbled and excited to be a small part. Bill sponsor and House Majority Leader Monica Duran has been working on the bill for more than two years. She says the bill also creates a program to increase horse birth control treatments. It's not going to be the final step, but it's an important step into figuring out how are we going to move forward? Activists like Sandra Hagen Solin with the American Wild Horse Campaign say the bill could also help save millions in tax dollars. It is exceptionally expensive to house these horses once they are off range. And so we do see this as taxpayer friendly legislation as well. Colorado's wild horses are so special and we want to ensure their longevity, their sustainability and for the future. Governor Polis's office says he will be signing the bill Saturday in Grand Junction. At the Capitol, I'm Katie Weiss covering Colorado First.